What a stack. Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Ah, peach peach. We are starting off today's video with some Ghost Gamer and some. Ah, I just spilt it down my chest. Your hair. My freaking hair as well. Such a freak. How? Like, how? Just how? <laughs> gamer, gamer. Never mind, wouldn't be a LSJ ghost video or LSJ supplement video if I didn't drop something or spill something or knock something over. We've got plenty of time left yet, don't you worry. Drop the video a like if you're excited. Today we are talking supplements. We're going to go through my current stack, why I take, what I take. Starting with Ghost Gamer for the focus. I'm about to edit this video and the one before that to low on top of that because the Gamer is peach flavour, the Glow is peach flavour. We're stacking it so we can be pretty and focused all at the same time. Okay, it's gonna be a good one. Let's go. I know it might seem like I take a lot, a lot of supplements, this is. And while that is true, there are people out there that take a hell of a lot more, but there's also people out there that take a hell of a lot less, you know? So the question is, is all of this stuff that I'm taking, that you guys at home are potentially taking, necessary? Do you need it? Is it essential? Can you make gains without it kind of thing? The simple answer is, yes you still can make gains and no they are not essential of course for some people in some cases some supplements may be essential deficiencies and all this that's a whole other avenue whole different video but for nine times out of ten that's a made-up statistic too for nine times out of ten nine people out of ten you don't need them but that doesn't mean we don't enjoy them pre-workout. Now do you need this? Absolutely not. Is it fun to take? Absolutely. <laughs> I like the process of mixing up, drinking my pre-workout most of the time. I mentioned recently that I don't have it every single time. That is still true. But just look at the colour on it. It's just cool. It smells good. It tastes good. One of my favourite combos recently has been the pump from my protein in the orange and mango flavour. Combined or stacked is the term that we use in the biz with the pre-workout in the, what flavor is this? Pineapple and grapefruit flavor. These two together just make this tropical, juicy, orange and mango-y, pineapple-y freaking goodness. And it turns out like this. But always bear in mind that you can just have a coffee.
I am just on the um, intra workout water today for the old hydration. Some people love to take an EAA or a BCAA or something like that for a bit of hydration, a bit of recovery, and all this kind of stuff. You know, you guys know what, generally speaking, the basics, what they do. But I'm not personally running that, I'm not personally taking that, running that like it's some PED or something. BCAAs, EAAs, or just intra workout kind of drinks definitely have their time and their place, especially if you start to take things a little bit more seriously. Or again, you just like having something that is gonna help you stick to it. You think, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do my session, and whilst I'm training, I can sip on this really nice tasting thing that is actually gonna help my performance long term, right? So if that is you, go for it. That's not me personally right now, although, when I get deeper into my kind of calorie deficit and my cut and everything, I think I might include it just because, <laughs> why the hell not? But you've got to bear in mind, you could also just have a banana and look at the size of this one. This one's life size, isn't it, babe? So you'll start to sense a theme here of things that even if they make a little bit of difference, take them and it's worth it if you can kind of afford it and it's in your budget, right? This is Ghost Burn, my favorite fat burner I have ever used to date. This is in particular the Ghost Burn Black. I take that before every single cardio session. Is it necessary? No. Do I enjoy taking it? Yes. Does it kind of help me stick to a routine? Yes, and that, if you ask me alone, is half the battle, which is what actually makes it worth it. What makes a supplement worthwhile to you? You have to design yourself your own little kind of list of priorities, right? At the top of most people's lists will be a protein. Followed by that on mine is a pre-workout. And then we're talking something like a multivitamin. They would be my three kind of top things. Fish oil, multivitamin, kind of, you know, that kind of thing, right? But protein, definitely at the top. Something like this, a fat burner or a intra-workout EAA or whatever, fairly low down. But if it's all part of your routine and you're just kind of used to it and you like it and you enjoy it, and that's what helps you stick to the gym. Because at the end of the day, if you're not consistent in the gym, you are gonna get the results regardless of whether your goal is to bulk up or cut down. If you're not going and doing your thing, you ain't gonna get any results. <laughs> and so if doing stuff like this and taking little things as kind of habit that help you along that journey, if you like, by all means, go for it. Exhibit A of how a protein can be used in your diet on a daily basis. That just makes it easier for me to have a meal that I like, that tastes good, that's good for you, slow releasing, all this kind of stuff, keeps you energized, keeps you full. Good amount of fiber in there as well, actually. All you have to do is just pick your favorite flavor, add that every single day, use the perfect ratios because you know exactly what they are because you listen carefully here on this channel, everybody. Okay, drop the video a like if you're enjoying it so far. At the end of the day, what you have to do is weigh up your budget. What works for you, what do you need to prioritize, and what comes first on that list? Because if you're watching this video, the chances are you have something, whether that's a pre-workout or just a fish oil, or like a, I know some people like CLAs or wh whatever, right? Whatever that thing is for you, you just have to weigh up what goes first on that list for you. For me, protein at the top. Second for me, pre-workout. Would that be second on everybody else's list? No, it could potentially be right at the bottom. It's probably pretty low down on my old man's list. That video that you saw of him taking pre-workout, that is still the only time that he has taken it. He just drinks coffee. Know that you can do that. Know that instead of having your BCAAs or whatever, you can just have a banana. It's not exactly the same, I know, 
But if you don't want your protein shake, you can just have a chicken breast, you know, always try and get it from food sources rather than from shakes and stuff like that because you don't want to be relying on it. It can supplement your diet, you know, they are there to supplement it, not be your diet. If I just got 200 grams of protein a day from shakes, number one, I'd be on the shitter all day long, but number two, it's just... It's just not how you do it, you know? But on top of that, with the gyms opening and all this kind of stuff, start getting that list of, of priorities for yourself ready. Start getting what goes at the top of your list. Get that ready, you know? Get stocked up. My protein have a sale on right now. I know I work for them and this is a plug, but do it, you know? You're not gonna get the stuff cheaper in a week's time than what you are right now at the time that you're seeing this. So use that link in the description box. Stock up, because if that is the thing, if those are the things that get you in the gym in the first place, right? Some people love having new gym clothes, a new pair of trainers or whatever. Picture it being the same thing. Imagine having that, but every single day. If you like taking pre-workout, take it on a daily, get it while it's cheap, stock up, and boom, you're good. If you like taking protein post-workout, stock up, boom. If you wanna take that friggin' EAA mid-workout, then bloody well do it, you know? There's gonna be so many people out there that just tell you it's not essential, and they are 100% right. I'm one of those people too. They are not essential. But, especially now, if taking a supplement or buying a new gym t-shirt is what you need to get yourself that kick up the ass, to get yourself in the gym, get training, get yourself hitting those goals, if that's what you need to do, then do it. But all the while, just remember, that there are alternatives. It is not the only way to get your protein in through a protein shake. It is not the only way to get some caffeine in pre-workout. Explore all your options. Find out what works for you. Find out what you can afford and what you are willing to put your time and your money in. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't grow on trees. You don't want to be spending money on all this stuff that's not going to do anything for you. So once you've got all that down, guys, you can just get into a routine and it becomes fun. You know, taking supplements, for me personally, it's fun. I like it. I enjoy it. I will not hesitate telling anyone that I enjoy doming a pre-workout before my workout. That I enjoy having a clear way before bed. I enjoy it. I like it. I like coming up to bed after I finish with my dinner and I like taking my vitamins. I like doing it. It's what I do on a daily basis. It keeps me going. It keeps me ticking. Is it essential? No. But does it help me and can it potentially help you? Yes, of course it can. So if you think you need that boost, Fuck the haters. Go and take the supplements. I really need to stop doing bloody impressions on this channel. I've done Arnold and Conor McGregor in the last two videos. Yeah, that was actually Conor McGregor. <laughs> Fuck the haters. So that is actually it, everybody. That is it for today's video. The clip that you guys saw earlier is Alison's RAC person coming to rescue her. If you're new here, I have a car. She's called Alison. She's a beautiful old bird, but she needs some TLC. And the RAC man is coming to do that today, hopefully. So I'll keep you updated on that in a future video. Drop this one a like if you have enjoyed it. Please let me know. If you do take supplements, I know not everybody does, let me know what you take and why in the comment section. Do you take them because they're good for you? Do you take them because you need to? Do you take them because you just enjoy it? Or is it all of the above? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for your support lately. I appreciate every single one of you. Drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for your support. Together we will grow. And I will see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Haters, fuck, fuck, fuck the haters. <laughs> I love editing. <laughs>